Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am your host, Siren Frost. And to finish up Deck Profile Weekly tonight, we have... Oh, I just realized that all these are a little bit unorganized. I'm so sorry. I thought I had this all pretty much organized. But so anyways, welcome back to my channel. For most of you guys who are probably didn't see all of the first one or the second one, whatever makes you feel comfortable. And... We're going to be finishing up this video, or this deck profile weekly, with Bruce. <laughs> Every time I hear Bruce, I'm like, hi Bruce, from Funny Nemo. So I, I can't help but laugh about that. I thought it was pretty funny. And yeah, this is my own very own version of the deck. Um, there might be some expensive cards in here. I don't know exactly. We're going to find out once I do the pricing and see how bad most of these are. So. But here's my own build of the deck. Um... Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think and, you know, all that good stuff. <clears throat> Sorry. Okay. So, for the right line, of course, we have Diablo's um, Innocent Mats for our, for our grade 0. Then we also have Diablo's Bad Steve um, for our grade 1. We also have Diablo's Anger Richard for our grade 2. And finally we have Diablo's Violence Bruce, which... Okay. <laughs> but yeah. Ow. Sorry, I have a little bit of ringing in my ear. So yeah, this is the ride line I chose just because, you know, it is a football game kind of deck from the underworld, so... You gotta make it more sense than anything else, but you guys can have your own opinions about what cards are better and what not, so. That's just my, um, intake on it. <laughs> intake. Crap. I am so tired. It's shit. And like my, um, my last video with Greedon, I have, a the same trigger lineup with this deck, because I don't think this deck really requires too much front. So, I mean, you're more than welcome to put front triggers in this deck if you really want to. If you want to add more to it. But I figure pure power would probably be um, the better option. I don't know why I'm speaking French. But we're going to do it today. Okay. So we have four copies of Diablo's Girls Ariana. For our heal triggers. Four copies of Riley for our draws. Four copies of Diablo's Girls Mei Mei. Three copies of Flinty Slasher, so it'd be seven crits, so, you know, major power points, pretty much. And of course, we have Obor Obaria, pretty much. So, because, um, I don't have a spare Hades over trigger, and I'm pretty sure that's kind of one of the few expensive cards. Like, you know, the original over triggers are actually more expensive, so this is, you know, give or take kind of thing, pretty much. <laughs> So there we go. That's the trigger lineup. Now, for grade ones, um, almost like the other one, we're doing 16. No, I'm just kidding. We're doing 15. So one off. But this might be a better, might be a good option too, because there's a lot of options to this if you, the way how you want to go through this. So for the grade ones, we're playing four copies of Diablo's Madonna Regina. The reason why I chose her is because her one skill is, if you're in Final Rush, Cabos 1 and put two other rear guards into her soul. Choose a card from your soul and call the rear guard, and that unit get, unit and this unit gets 10,000 power and 10 in a turn. So, that's only a one turn thing, pretty much, but I don't think that's required from each, from each Regina. But there you go. So I figured that's a good one for like one per turn, or, you know, she's good for a hitter as well, good for boosting, just... Whatever sounds kind of good for that time only. Next, we also have Diablo's Jetter Weight. So, this is my own, like, my idea. But the reason why I chose him is because if you have a Vanguard with Bruce in its card name, which, of course, the deck has, requires Bruce, put this unit into your soul. Choose one of your Vanguards and it gets 10,000 power in a turn. So, it gains more power, you know, and there's not a restriction on one per turn. You can have as many of these as you want on the field, three at a time. And your va and Bruce will just get 30,000 power at a time. So, you're filling up the soul and giving your Vanguard more power. So, there you go. <laughs> you got it. 
And of course, for much like the other Dark, uh, dark States um, Perfect Guards, we're using generics, such as Psychic Prima uh, Miranda and Three Brother Souls. Now, I would have done probably like four of these guys, but I think three should be more than enough to handle just for that time because you don't want to um, soul charge too much of your deck because there's triggers you got to think about. You got to think about your over trigger, you know. There's just other options kind of thing. So yeah, that is why I chose some of the certain units right here. Mm, okay. Okay, and now for grade two, we're playing four copies of Diablo Striker uh, Lyle. Now, believe it or not, you guys, we're getting a lot more uh, Bruce support in um, BT7, I believe, or BT6. So there is a lot more cards for the older stuff we come from eternal power to cosmic power. And don't quote me on that one because I know cosmic is before, um, you know, crisis power, but this is like cosmic right here. So this is a little bit more different. But Lyle, I chose him just because of his skill. When this unit is placed on rear guard, count blast one, and this unit gets 5,000 power in the end of turn, if, if you're in final rush, soul, soul charge two, choose a card from your soul and call to an open rear guard. So, it's like a superior call from like Pale Moon Circus's um, Purple Trampezes. Um, damn, I forgot what the other card is. It's like Trampezes combo from like Pale Moon, but this is like Spike Brothers mixed together, so don't quote me on that one. But I figured Lyle would be a good choice. Just you gotta watch your counter blast a little carefully and how much soul charging you can probably do. This might be a little too much soul charging, like I'm kind of seeing it right now. But I think the way you need to handle this is the different situation and different styles. So you may have to change it up pretty much. Um, for the last grade two, we're playing four copies of Diablo's Madonna, Reese. I chose her. For the sole purpose of when this unit attacks against a vanguard, soul charge two cards. So, again, more soul charge just to watch out for. If you're also in final rush, choose one of your units and it gets 10,000 power in a turn. So, in this case, if her attack does go through, then you can soul charge. But if you're also in final rush, which I'm going to be guessing you need to have Bruce on the field, you're allowed to give, she's allowed to give your vanguard or anyone on the field... 10,000 power as a bonus. So that's why I chose four of her. Just because, again, more power. And you want to pump this fucker up as much as you possibly can. Which is more going to say for Donji, but that's just because Donji's, um... <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I have to say this because it is, it is kind of funny. Um, I saw a picture recently when I was looking at work, and I found a picture of Donji, you know, in a muscle you know, gym kind of, anti you know, shirt, and it's like a bodybuilder kind of thing, I'm like, oh, shit. So, basically, <laughs> Dodgy's kind of gay. <laughs> but I am laughing about it because it is a little bit funny, but that's just, that's just me. I'm not dissing him, but I think it's a little funny that someone made a little picture of him with his, um, his nipples out, pretty much just looking all sexy and, you know, like, gym rat kind of attire thing, but, eh, it's all good. I can't complain. Wish every guy was kind of like that sometimes. But that's just me. Uh, anyways, uh, grade threes. We're going to be using seven grade threes today. So we have three Bruce's for the Persona Riability Personification. Two copies of the Humble Striker Brian. Um, basically, why I chose him is because of his Soul Blast, uh, his active skill. So it is a one turn thing. So be careful how much you use this one because it is a, is a late game kind of thing. Uh, Soul Blast two cards. In the end of turn, all your front row units get 5k power. And if you're in Final Rush, choose one of your vanguards and it gets plus one critical. So, if you, like I said, this deck is very versatile. Like, depending on what kind of level you're at, what grade you're on, it, every effect is so different. Like, you can get 5k power, 10k power, 10k in a freaking crit, you know? Depending on how much you want to go forth. Like, how much you want to go hard. Pretty much. Basically just skull fuck your opponent pretty much. Then finally for the order card we're playing two copies of Hell Blast Full Dive. I figured this would be a good option. And there's other options I could probably choose, but this one's like a best one I I saw. So it's Carablast one with the count with the cost. 
draw a card and choose a card from your hand and call it to the open rear guard. So it lets you superior call a unit from your hand maybe, you know, beforehand and activate a skill. That's what I'm think, kind of thinking. Then if you're in final rush, all your front row unit gets plus 10,000 power in a turn. So, <laughs> like I said, guys, this is like way too much power. It's like, it's almost over 90,000. Pretty much. It's like, holy shit balls. But, like I said, every situation is different. Every move is different to make. Um, if you guys are Bruce Bruce fans or um, Bruce players, just take these cards into consideration. Don't just quote me on, you know, saying that, oh, this deck's pure trash. This person doesn't know how to build a deck. Like, I know some people did in the past. But just take everything you know into consideration and take everything, you know, don't knock it till you try it, pretty much. Like, I do encourage that a lot. Believe it or not, I say don't knock it till you try it a whole lot more in reverence. That's just me, though. All right, you guys, that is the Conclusion Deck Profile Weekly, and I'm very happy that I finally got a chance to buckle down and get this shit rolling, because I feel like, you know, I owe you guys so much more for your love and support, and, oh my god, it's like, it's been a rough week, but, you know, after a, a sweet glass of Sangria Mountain Dew Vodka, I think I'm pretty much hit the hang on this one. But this is my intake on the Bruce deck, my Greedon decks, um... As always, there's a full list in the description box down below. Let me know if you guys are interested in seeing that. And, well, actually, you're going to see it. No, wait, 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 I don't know why the fuck I just said that. But, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the rest of your week. I hope it's a lot better than mine. This heat's a fucking pain in the ass. But, just be safe out there. Wear a lot of sunscreen. Make good choices. And be safe. And, Yeah. I, again, I'll see you guys next week, and I'll try not to be in too much of a MIA kind of mode right now. Not right now. MIA, for the most part. I will try to be there for you as much as I possibly can. So, anyways, you guys, I've been your host, Siren Frost, signing out.